This match review, which is our only one today, because I had to throw out so many today, comes from Xenocrop. Usually known for playing Xeno, that's the name. Uh, with uh, 1,200 plus hours, so a little bit past that 1K hours that um, people expect, or I expect people, rather, in reverse. I expect people to know uh, their macro and micro fundamentals of these. So have quick chases, be able to patrol gens fairly easily, that sort of thing. Um, you are playing Deathslinger, which is a strong B-tier killer. Uh, the, the thing with Slinger is that, like, Slinger is really, really good in chase, but is a 110 killer with no map presence whatsoever. <laughs> so he's kind of like all his eggs are in one basket. So while he he's B-tier just because his chase is so good, um, he doesn't really have any way to, like, consistently pressure the map because he has no way to get around. Um, so that's kind of what you're looking at character-wise. Uh, you're on Pale Rose, which is a fairly big map. I believe it's... It's either 160 or 161 square tiles. I'd have to check. Um, but it's fairly big. Um, the PR can be kind of frustrating as well. So especially for a character that does not have a lot of map mobility, uh, a higher tile count map like this can potentially be really, really frustrating. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at your answer perks. You have double reload, which is fine. Uh, other options like Cigar. Cigar is really great. Uh, some people recommend Tin Oil Can. I'm personally not somebody who recommends like miss punishment add-ons that are like oh well you miss so now that your punishment isn't as bad um i'd much rather you just like learn to hit your shots better but you know that's another thing that a lot of people recommend um so but this is great double reload is great uh your build is fantastic uh for the most part you have pain rest surge which is an excellent combo for slinger who is good on slinger in order to hide is kind of interesting because all of your gen slow down is not done through kicking but nowhere to hide requires kicking to happen so there's going to be a little bit of anti-synergy because there's going to be plenty of times that you want to kick for nowhere to hide value but you can't because you're either your surge or your pain res has blocked you because they'll start the gen regressing um i would have much rather seen something like surveillance here which highlights the gen in white when something gets hit by it and then turns back to yellow when they unregress it I'd much rather have seen that here. They probably do probably synergize well with these other two. Because like Nowhere to Hide is one of the best info perks in the game, but not with non-kick slowdown. So yeah, take a look. You hear uh, crows on the main building. So you know somebody's there. Yeah, you know where at least one person is. Yeah, you hear multiple up there. She does not see you coming for some reason. Into the gen far too much. Ooh. If you had been a slight more patient, you would have had that. Uh, I say this all the time, is that, um, because a lot of people don't know this, is that when you're aiming down sights as Deathslinger and you are aiming at the survivor, they actually get an audio cue that they're being aimed at. They get this little, like, ringing noise in their ear. It sounds like somebody taking a file down like a metal sheet. Um, so the longer you aim at a survivor, the more info they get that they are being aimed at, which gives them more info to dodge. Um, the sound cue has been broken for a while. Uh, yeah, it, no, it, it definitely still works. I was in a game like Lily Friday where it worked for me. So if it's broken, it's not consistent. Because, yeah, I was just playing Survivor the other day and face a Deathslinger, and it was, I, I got the noise, so... Hopefully you still get this shot. I was singing and it never worked. How soon? How 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 soon was that? Because I was playing this week and got it. And not AQ. A lot of people don't. It's very subtle. It's very very subtle. Hold on. I can probably pull up here text here. I'm pretty sure this club has it. Oh my god. Yeah, that that noise, the rigging, that right there. That, that ring noise, a very quiet sound, that's them, that's them aiming. That, the longer you aim, the more they get that, so that gives them more info to dodge you. Because I don't want him to be out there in the garage. A lot of stuff he can knock over. Oh, you should have hit that. That's not your fault.
Also, if he's in there and she comes home, she doesn't know he's in there. That could be like the worst possible scenario. Don't dry kick, Jens. This Felix, who's right here, who just ran to your right, is immediately going to hop right back on this gen and, and undo everything you just did. So. The effects on the gun? Yeah. I'm glad they fixed it. Because, uh, the effects are cool. It is a very cool weapon. But it was just busted for so long. Oh, you do not like them. Wait, you don't like them? Why? Sorry, I read that totally wrong. I think they're cool. Yeah, I would try to hook quickly for a pain res. Because he has to eat through not only the gen regression, but also... Oh. Is there even any pain reses around? You picked up so quickly. I mean, it looks like he looked. Yeah, it looks like they're super far away. Unfortunate. That's kind of the problem with pain res. It's like... It is still so good, but it's like... If you get bad screws, shark RNG, it's kind of... It's so awful. Squirting orange juice? I think it's cool. Like hot molten lava coming out of the gun. Hey, you will get a pain res here. Just keep in mind you still have a pain res on Sable. Oh, you will have that. You see him? Oh, you should have waited. You just got iframe doing that. Up the amount of skirt checks? Nah. That's how skirt checks are balanced. It's like, uh, they're, they're, uh, they're balanced by the RNG of like, hey, you could get a good, uh, you could get a good spawn logic, but you could not. That's like people saying that, like, hex totems should have a way to, like, not be broken. It's like, hex totems are usually balanced by the fact that they can go away. So... Removing that would make sense. It feels like a lot of times you're going for like kind of like these fancy shots, which is like cool, but like it's not not giving you anything, right? It, it'd probably be better just to like W them down and go for a more confirmed shot than trying to do like all this fancy stuff. Oh, you got robbed. You should have hit that. That's just pilot validation. Yeah, you, you, I've noticed that, like, you're trying to just, like, shot after shot after shot after shot after shot. Like, you're trying to just, like, shoot as much as possible, but if you had just, like, been a little bit more patient and actually tried to, like, aim, I feel like you would have been in a much better situation than just, like, shoot, like, going for all these Hail Mary shots. You spent a lot of time in this chase with her, which is why gens are getting done now. Not her. Get the pallet. It can be by the mandibles. That was her, yeah. You start chase with her. Yeah, you've been chased with her for almost two minutes. Roweven? Are we saying that? Thank you so much for the follow, friend. I very much appreciate it. Very kind of you. Hopefully your immune day is going well. Yeah, you're in chase with her for almost a solid two minutes. Chase is dead by daylight. Need to be 30 to 40 seconds. If it gets over 50 seconds and you don't and you, you haven't downed him yet, take an injury, take a pallet or two, call it a day. Call it a day. But you were committed to a chase there for almost two full minutes. I think pair should be limited to use. And on every hook. No, I don't. <laughs> I make the gen regression 99%. How about every time you hook somebody on a scourge hook, uh, the, the game just automatically uninstalls for the survivors.
Nice. Good job. Good prediction. I think the reason I think the reason that worked better than the other one too is because you just kind of like were very snappy with your aim there. You just kind of predicted, opened, shot, and wheeled. The, the most of your your chases you've had with Deathlinger so far have just been like aiming at somebody and holding it there for such a long time that they have time to like dodge and then shooting. But that was that was way more snappy, which gave them much less time to react. So I think that's why that worked better for you. You hear them up there. Good thing is you now have three stacks of uh, food, which is gonna be really nice for you. Actually <laughs> applied to them. Yeah, Scourge kick out. That's that's how we do it. How we make the game truly fair. You look at that and you just move, run away. Why is that? Why'd you not go over there? You also have nowhere to hide. So even if you didn't find somebody there, you could kick and try to see if somebody's over there. Yeah, this whole like really long aiming stuff, you gotta like not do that. You gotta be more snappy with your shots. <laughs> That's so funny. She let you do that. Ain't no way, man. Why are they letting that guy die? Oh, she's just gonna be able to throw that. Luckily, Felix is now death X, so. That's in your benefit. Yeah, so if she's like in this situation where you literally stop and stand still and you just try to aim through a wall like this, as long as she's paying attention, that's not gonna work. Because you gotta remember the survivors are in a third person perspective. So like while you can't see where she is. Yeah, she can see more because she's in the third person. So she can probably see you doing this. You gotta keep that in mind. <laughs> okay. Oh, well. Honestly, she shouldn't have let you hit that to begin with. You shouldn't be. You should be keeping momentum just as much as you're trying to. She is not paying attention, dude. This Nancy brother. None of this should be happening to her, to be to make that very clear. None of this should be happening to her. <laughs> if she just like paid attention, none of this should be happening to her. I need to match with this person. Now this is Potter saying. You do have five stacks of uh, coot now, so that's pretty good. The problem is, once again, from the time at which you hooked Nancy. That was... Let's do pickup. Pickup's a little bit more fair. So, 742. We're in chase from her. Once again, you're almost in chase with her for two minutes again. You've had, that's where that's where this match is like getting so close for me is because you keep having these like extremely long chases with Nancy every single time you see her. Uh, but you have multiple gens nearly done. That is not good. Uh, missing match reviews? Uh, yeah, we only have this one today because we had four, but three people submitted four Ks at two or more gens, so. And it's, it's people that have submitted before, so, like, kind of confused me that they did that. I like the option not to let them get this done here. I don't like the option to chase somebody. This, like, you need Nancy or Felix dead. Yeah. It's kind of their game to throw. And I have a funky feeling based on how Nancy's been playing that they will end up throwing it. Because she just has not been paying attention. What I would do in that situation is not try to like bank on Q to get that or Q to get that for you. Because one of the strongest things about Deathslinger is that he can shut down options. Like if you ADS and, and fire at her here, you could wheel her in before she is able to drop the pallet. And then it's just like a free hit. But because you banked on Q getting through the pallet validation, it didn't end up working. Realistically, what you do here is you shoot and reel her away from the pallet, so it's not even like an option. 
That's like one of the things that makes Destiny really nice in Chase. Good prediction. Nice, good prediction again. Nancy's right there too. Although Fong, I don't believe you have the pain res on because you just hooked her on a, on a normal hook, so it might be worth pain resing here to save some time. This is also okay because she is death hurt. So as long as you don't have another two minute chase, this is also fine. Excellent, perfect. That's one of the weird things. Okay, when you're, when you're playing as Deathslinger, you should, um, when you hook somebody like this, you harpoon them, back up. Because, like, if you're, like, walking towards them, they're going to start, like, reeling themselves back and forth. And you end up in situations like this, where, like, they can get up behind an object and force the chain break early. But you should back up so they're reeling towards you, so they have less, uh, movement. So they can't do that. Yeah, now they got that person up. So you tried to do too much at once, and you got it. Nothing there. They shouldn't have done that. Two death hook gamers are greeting a gen. That is not wise. Oh. You knew she had that too, and you'd even look. You got greedy. That's unfortunate. You're trying to do too much, and as a result, you're, you're losing all your pressure. Yeah, because, like, the idea is that, like, hey, you know, I don't want to leave this gen, which is also right, but also you gave up death hook gamers to defend this gen. You should have just either taken the pinners on Fung or focused on Nancy. By trying to do both at the same time, you now have nothing. That's a big thing I see a lot of the match reviews. That's like a very common takeaway. Nice, good shot. Is that people try to... Yeah, this. This is what you're doing right now. If you had done that with Nancy there, she probably wouldn't have broken out. Kill them. Oh, they got the last gen done anyway. I mean, that's kind of on you, unfortunately. You had really long chases with Nancy, and then at the end there, when you really needed somebody, either a pain res or somebody out of the game, you tried to do both at the same time and got neither. So you kind of brought that upon yourself. The only way this ends up going your way is if, uh... Sable gets greedy for a flashlight or something. Okay, you were tracking somebody there and then you just stopped. Okay, you you were on somebody you were on somebody there and you just kinda like stopped looking for them. You like did like this weird mind game through the boat. And then after it didn't you didn't necessarily spot them immediately, you're just kinda like, okay, well, I guess that's that. You gave up so easily there. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. I'm glad she's in a place that can give her the care she needs, though. Yeah, you need to be way more patient with your dust on your harpoons. You're missing so many because you're, like, you're either, like, you're all in or all out. Like, either you're, like, aiming down sights for, like, 30 straight seconds and giving them a world of time to um, dodge, or you're just, like, shooting so quickly that it's like you're not even aiming. You got to find a balance with that. Luckily, everybody's in the void around, so I fuck around too much. She tried to dead hard there. <laughs> I think I saw the little, little E there. Yeah, I would just camp her. Yeah, hook her away from the doors and just chill. Pray for altruism. If you hadn't had those super long chases with Nancy in the middle of the game, this would be like like a 4k at like three guns, to be honest. That's where like all of your lost pressure is. Don't go too far away. Yeah, stay vaguely nearby. Yeah, 
Because you don't want somebody who's exceptionally good at sneaking to get by you because you're standing like really far away. Okay, they're opening the door. Unless somebody gets greedy here. Should be a simple two guy. Because the doors are super far away. Their best bet, honestly, would be Shaq. But I don't really think they get him there, especially if you hit your shot. Oh, they are common. Careful. Yeah, I just punched the hook. Okay. Yeah, I just hit the trade. Make sure you, yeah, don't let her flashlight save you. Yeah, but say, her endurance wouldn't be up then, so there's no point to, like, swing there. Okay. Get her. I was really dumb of her to run out in front of you. I was really dumb of her to do. All she had to do was run to the boat door and not the shack door and she was fine. But for some reason she gets really cocky and walks right through you. She tried. Look quickly and try to stop them from the pickup. Okay, she has the wiggle forever. Jeez. This Fung is... I, I mean, this is play, at least I can to this player. She's losing, not you winning. <laughs> she is, she's, she's beating herself here. Because <laughs> she is consistently making the wrong play here. <laughs> and it's just, it's really sad to watch. <laughs> nice. You should still get out of here, but it is so cool. This is why I like Cigar, because if Cigar here, you just get like half a stun and you're good. Oh my God, Nancy, please. Honey. Oh my god. They, this is the... Okay. With all due respect to these players, they could not have messed up more in this endgame. They, like, made every single wrong choice about going to get that. They, like, save. They legitimately played themselves. That is so funny. Insane comeback? I mean, they... Like I've been saying, I don't mean this is any, like, disrespect to Croft, but, like... It's not really a comeback. The, the players just kind of fucked up. Like, they they could not have played that endgame worse. <laughs> like, they really could have. Fung should have ran to the other door, not run through the killer to get to the closest door. Nancy should not have greeted that flashlight save because it just put her in a situation where she was right next to the killer as well. Like, they just got so greedy and cost them the whole game she really thought that she was just gonna i'm just gonna get this working live forever and everything's just gonna be fine <laughs> like uh that was really silly yeah somehow even with working live forever they found like they were just their positioning was so bad like they could not have put themselves in the worst position there that is unreal i don't know maybe slinger op oh that's right correlation equals causation the dbd community because the 4k happened yes slinger op so in terms of your main takeaways, uh, your first main takeaway is that for Slinger, you got to find a balance. Like I was saying earlier, like with your harpoons, either you're aiming down sight so long that you're giving the survivor so much info to dodge you that they're dodging you fairly easily, or you're 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 like shooting the moment you ADS, which means you're you're not even giving yourself enough time to like look at where you're aiming. And I think a combination of the both both of these is what was hurting you because you were just like flip flopping between the two. You weren't really having like a uh, like a good balance between. You were all in on one or all in on the other. But if you just like giving yourself a little bit more patience with these, um, I think it would have helped you out a lot. Um, I feel like the obviously the main thing that caused you to lose the game. This is like the the takeaway that like made this match almost a like a 2k at best was that you had two nearly two minute chases with with nancy and obviously chases in dead by daylight need to be 30 to 40 seconds if it's 50 plus you need to start thinking about leaving take the injury take a pallet then go find somebody else um but the fact that like you had not one but two 
uh, near two minute chases. Uh, that's a lot of time. Match time's gen time. Matches unaided are matches. Gens unaided by perks, add ons, items are 90 seconds only. Um, so spending two full minutes about in chase multiple times in a game is just, that's just asking for gen progress. That's asking for stuff to get done in the background while you're investing all that time. So I would cut down on that and try to be more rigid about when you drop chase. Um, I think uh, in the end game there, your final takeaway, you're in the end game there, or like what it was at one gen, you should have either just picked up Fung and gotten the pain res, or you should have committed to killing Nancy there. What happened is you wanted both, because both are good for you, right? Both were good scenarios. Either you get a pain res and massively deny that last gen, which is great, or you get Nancy uh, out of the game and sacrifice, which sets you up for a 3v1, which is far easier to win. Both were good for you, but instead of going for one of them you tried to do both which is really great um so i feel like uh in that scenario uh and then, like i said this is a very very common <laughs> match for your takeaway is that a lot of people end up trying to do too much and end up doing nothing as a result uh, and that was definitely one of the scenarios where you wanted both of those at the same time and tried to get both and as a result you ended up with neither and thankfully thankfully uh, no offense to these players they don't know how to play the end game <laughs> they're far too greedy and far too risky with their plays in the end game so it did end up working out but i do want to emphasize that is them messing up that was not you doing something correct that was them being far too greedy even when you chase down nancy at shack at the end there and shot her through the hole in in the shack window the board up shack window she could have just vaulted out that window and left for some reason she kind of waited for you which was like that was silly i don't know why she did that like she was out scot-free and stayed for some reason <laughs> like just oh just silly behavior to be honest um so i would focus on those three those are the three especially that center one where you're having the uh you're having uh all those two minute chases in the middle of the game that's what caused you to lose this game um but all of those together would help you improve your games overall